we wanted to overcome that chicken and egg situation that we have in the hydrogen economy at this point in time. We also, everybody talks about the market ramp up. I think the initial thing we first need to address is creating a market at all. We really wanted to have a market base, a very competitive and very efficient instrument that utilizes the limited amount of public subsidies that is available at the maximum extent. And that is why we came up with a new a disruptive idea of how we could tackle that, that situation and that's how H Global all came about. What the companies really need is security in regards of risks, in regards of how to finance these projects and what H2 Global is doing. We are first of all, we are reducing these risks on the market and secondly, we are a very solid uh, off-taker. And that's very key now for, for the companies because they can rely on it and they can start really with their businesses. Everything we are doing is transparent and needs to be published because we are a non-for-profit. So what we are sending out is price signals, security uh, to the market, and uh, um, that creates in the end, that creates liquidity. So this is exactly what the industry needs. Uh, issue Global is a concept that emerged in, in Germany, but it's really a concept that is for the world. And it's right now, uh, it's been used to, to sort of support imports to the region, but it could be used in other contexts. So for example, if we are trying to really make a change in, in regions of the world where um, you know hydrogen is yet to be really developed, but we are trying at the same time, for example, in Africa, to make sure that people have access to energy, they ha have access to a new industry, that creates jobs but it's also clean. We can try and see and how we can use this new concept to really create the opportunities also in other parts of the world that perhaps are not as fortunate as in the EU.